Hey everybody, how you doing? Gibbo here for Two-Tone Murphy. So you're very welcome to today's video, which is the first in a new series that we're calling Quick Fix. And the idea behind the Quick Fix series is, well, we'll give you some hints, tips, tricks, maybe some things that you didn't know you could do about Microsoft Flight Simulator. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the drone cam. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. So we have this very handy one slider cheat sheet for you on the drone cam and it gives you everything that you can do listed in one easy place. It's very handy if you print it out and pop it behind your monitor. More on that as to where you can get it in a moment. But what I thought I'd do in today's video is actually just give you an idea as to maybe my favourite two or three, three things on this list that you can do with the drone cam. You can use the drone cam with your keyboard, you can use it with your mouse, but really the easiest thing to do is to use your Xbox controller and that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to fire up the sim and to help you follow along what it is that I'm doing the controller, I have this very handy controller overlay. And what we can do is if I press buttons, you can see exactly what it is that I'm pressing. Perfect. Okay. So I'm here in the sim. I'm in the F14 at Miramar looking awesome. I have multiplayer off just in case you're freaked out that I'm sitting on the runway, not moving. Uh, and before I go any further, I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to go to control options. And I'm just going to make sure that my controller is set to default. And if you do the same, it just means that everything that I show you here right now will work exactly the same for you. So that's perfect. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my camera and, of course, change it to showcase. Okay, so here I am. I am I have 14. The first thing that I'd like to show you today is that of zoom. So, of course, you can move your, your uh, drone cam and you can speed that up, of course. But rather than moving in a much easier way is to, to see things in the distance is that of zoom. So to use zoom, you press the Y button and right trigger. So let's do that here. Y button and right trigger. You can see I'm zooming into the hangers in the background. Looks pretty awesome. And then to zoom out, it's Y button and left trigger. There's some cool airplanes over here I want to check out. So again, Y button and right trigger. Look at those. Awesome. And to zoom out, it's Y button and left trigger. Perfect. Okay. The next one that I want to show you is that of bookmarks. So you can bookmark it very easily two camera positions perhaps that you might like to quickly return to. So here I've got one, maybe this overhead cockpit view. That's kind of cool. And to bookmark this, I press the A button and left bumper. So A button, left bumper. And let me choose the second position that I kind of like. I think this one where I can see Goose and Maverick's name. That's pretty good. I'm going to press A button and right bumper to bookmark that. So A button and left bumper to bookmark the overhead uh, cockpit view and A button and right bumper to bookmark this one. So I'm gonna change my position entirely, something totally different. And if I wanna to return to that overhead cockpit view, it's very easy. All I do is press A button and right trigger, and there I am. And if I wanna to return to that side view of the names, it's A button and left trigger, and there I am. Okay, so the third and final one is that, probably my favorite one, is that of a bokeh effect. Bokeh effect is also known as depth of field, where you've kind of got that blurred background in the distance, really helps you get those cinematic shots. And what I found is that it works best if you're zoomed up close to something, and also have a different contrasting background to it. Something a little different from the foreground really helps separate the two and differentiate them, and, and looks really awesome. Okay, so here I am kind of close up to the nose of this F14, and it's a toggle switch, so you can toggle it on and off. And to do so, you press the B and the Y buttons at the same time. So let's give that a go here. Look at that. How awesome does that look with the background blurred? Let me turn it back off so you can see it the way it was. So you can see over the nose, the hangar, the taxiway, the clouds, all nice and sharp. But if I press B and Y, look at that. Looks so good. And of course, you can increase it as well. So if I hold down the B button and left trigger, that's probably a bit too much. Let me bring that back by holding the B button and right trigger. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. And our one slider cheat sheet that I mentioned a moment ago is available for free at twotonemurphy.com slash downloads. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've got any ideas for future videos, we'd love to hear them. Please do leave them in the comment section below. Of course, Mr. Two-Tone Murphy himself streams on Twitch live at 1900 Zulu every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll certainly be there. It'd be great to see you there too. Thanks so much indeed for your time and watching. Until the next one, take care.